Good afternoon and welcome to all our viewers here on Speed Gaming 3 and welcome to this presentation of the Zelda 1 Randomizer community. We are here. It is the Rookie Rumble here in 2024. Top 16 now. It is game 3 between Hi-Yo 24 and Metroid Master. Moonrise and Phoenix here bringing you this matchup. And joining me in the boot today, it is Prognoviach. Good evening or good afternoon, rather. For me, it's still good morning. So we're just crossing all the time zones today. Why not? We're here. Let's have a good one, shall we? Indeed. So we're looking for a very interesting race. This is a game three. Competition has been very, very fierce so far in this rookie rumble. And these are fantastic runners. Hyo and Metroid Mist. I'm really excited for this match. Metroid Mist. I thought it was Master, but thank you for the clarification. So, Moon, time. what do we... Go ahead. What do you think we're going to start out today? Do you think we're going to start out in the desert? That seems to be where most of my seeds start out when I'm using these flags. I'm going to go with Seaside, to be precise. The spot right around uh, the desert, the northeast corner, just around the, the shore. Runners look like we're about to be getting started here. We see the countdown here on Metroid Mist. The anticipation is killing all of us. Such it is when we get into the later rounds here as we approach next game. It is going to be the winner of this will actually take on the Pirate Sheep or Glitch Rate 301 in the quarterfinals. That's right. Pirate Sheep beat out, I believe it was Violina just the other day. That was a fantastic match. It went back and forth the entire time. So it did. And we are off and running. Southern Power Braces spots our start spot today. Okay, so that means that they could either go towards Vanilla Start, kind of like Metroid, or they can start heading towards those very important Armos items. Hey, uh, starting sword, man. That is not the right sword. Good to know we've got magical sword at the starting spot, though. Hi, I'm deciding to go for the southern coast while Metroid Mist will go for our near starting area. Hi, finds a large secret for today. 96 rupees, I believe. No one's That's right, just. About that. No, just four from Vanilla. No one is going to complain about that at all. Something for Metroid Mist, the medium secret, 35 rubies. Again, you will not complain about that. It goes anywhere from 25 to 40. You'll absolutely take 35 every time it's offered. What you won't take is Blue Darkness on the Overworld. That's a pain. No, but you will take a take any. Hayo uh, opting for the heart container, making him eligible for the tutor. Personally, I like taking the candle. First candle in my book is always the best candle. Well, Metroid Mist finds the candle you want to take. The one at the, uh, the Wood Sword Cave. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, our tracker GDW sure did. Uh, that's, a, that's a coast bow. Ooh, very nice. Do you think that will mean early arrow pickups? I think it would, because you never know when Goma is blocking your silvers, and a coast bow may do it. And we're going to see both Armos checks, both Death Armos and Lower Forest. Unfortunately, one is an arrow shop and also Blue Ring. 85 rupees for wood arrows today. Not the cheapest it can go, but it could have been a lot worse. Death Armos holds the secret and that looked like it was the banana. Oh, that's not going to be that's not going to excite anyone. You know, the highest where we can keep digging finds another door repair. That's 22 rupees given away, and 
That's not a good door repair price for our runners. And, oof. Lionel's and Dartmouth's on the overworld. This will be a fun time. You know, I'm still waiting for that magical seed where it's Lionel's, Dark Nuts, and Wizzy's on the overworld. I don't know if it's possible, and it's the thing of my nightmares. Thing of everyone's nightmares. Hayo finds a large secret at the medium secret, my apologies, at Monocle Rock. Checking Vanilla 3. No level here, but it is the recorder spot. Great information there for Metroid Mist. All you need now is a take any or a heart in the dungeon, and you're, uh, you've got the recorder for some quick travel. The Metroid Mist is headed towards the other forgotten spot. Let's see if it has anything useful today. That good old southwest corner. Forgotten spot number two is up. I've heard it called. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Very oh. small, small secret. Almost oh. the worst you can get. Uh, hey, you found, you got a good medium secret. You got a decent large. Seed's got to give you the backhand at some point, right? Exactly. And we've seen two of the any roads. One of them was up in Lost Hills, and I didn't see where the other one was. Fortunately, you're a step ahead of me because I, I missed all those any road spots. Dungeon found for Hayo. First dungeon of the day is level 8. Not exactly the one you want to see coming off coming off the start line, but I am trying to pirouettes. Game says no. No, so we are key blocked out of eight so far. Nice screen scroll there by Metroid Mist. Go to the grave, wanting to find out some more information on the overworld, and I like this play. It is a very good play. You get a feat of strength check, and you get to make your way back towards the Death Mountain Armoses. We know that it won't have the secret today, but still, some very great open caves. I mean, you never know. It could be level one, right? That's almost exactly. a level. Oh, and, uh... Oh, goodness. Using those iframes. High of Fines 5 at Letter Mountain. You know, 5 is one of those dungeons that I'm, you're always on the fence about digging right away. It is slightly larger, especially in shapes, but this early in the game, I think he has time to dig. M might just have that wand or red ring, something that will really save him. And Hayo says, let me go look at the rest of my any roads. Maybe I'll come back later. Recorder Lake says the recorder is going to be used for dig doggers only by the looks of things. That is excellent knowledge to have. We haven't seen any person, you know, hint purchases yet, but if we do get one saying that you have to play a melody, we know that will mean a dig dogger in an in a dungeon. Meanwhile, how finds level two. Level two was not far from from a corner lake, and this this has to be a dungeon you dig. Same for oh, Metroid Miss finding level three at the northwest corner of Candle Row. I thought that level two was uh, over by the East Lake, uh, close to the the forest. Oh, I I could have been absolutely wrong there. Oh, that's not what you want to see if you're high. Oh, oh that no, staircase. that's a segment. Yeah, that's a segment. Meanwhile, Metroid is deep in three. We've got Uncle Wizzy wanting to play. Heart container found for high on the floor of two. Now that could be the floor heart of two, or it could be the uh, the overall coast heart. Stay tuned on that. Metroid Miss struggling there in level three. I mean, you've got three hearts, wood sword. And there is the item in level two for Hayo. What a find early. That's the any key. That's right. That's going to alleviate so many headaches. The headaches that Metroid is facing right now as he is key blocked. Key blocked and have a little bit of a headache on top of it, but trying to trying their best to take care of this one. Oh my goodness. 
very nicely played. Just take out that. Oh, he's trying for a Kananaki here. Oh, that would be an excellent play. Let's see if he can get it off. Nailed it. And he does. Beautiful. You do that. But you have to confirm it. You have to walk through that door to confirm the Kananaki. Metroid Miss does and locks it up. That's right. Now, Hayo could not lock up defeating those danger noodles. They took him out. I mean, Blue Land Mole is at five hearts. I don't care. It's it's a pain in the neck. Metroid may want to consider resetting the room. Does exactly that. And it pays off swapping out the Blue Wizzy for a Blue Gurria. Headshot purchases. Sorry, not Gurria. Oh, uh, Mom. Whatever it is. But Mob uh, silvers are in three for Hayo. White sword in one. And Raph not required, so that's huge information for Hayo. That, that is, the Raft is only two checks, but sometimes those two can mean the entire game. You never know. Sometimes just thinking about that one, that one raft spot can play and can prey on your mind for so long. It's pretty ridiculous. I've been there. Oh, we've all been there. And Metroid's taking out frustration on the pancakes. I need to be careful, though. One more hit and those pancakes are going to eat everything. A bit of a payoff. There's another key. Now, this could be... That is the push block. But that is... Nope. I, nope. No item here. Not yet. A bomb upgrade, though. I would definitely go for that. Plus four. Plus four at a slightly reduced price. 91 rupees. Yeah, you'll take that every time. You want to check for Hayo and oof, that Ooh, was... that was a nasty room. Yeah, that's a that's a bad room on three hearts. This seed not pulling any punches early. No, it is not. Yeah, this that's... is a pretty nasty enemy set for Metroid. Blue Wizzies. And we have the pancakes, we have moblins. Just so many things that can shoot at you, but it got very fortunate clock. Absolutely right, but here's a problem perhaps for Metroid missed early. Hayo has the information about the white sword in level 1. If Hayo finds level 1 and gets that white sword, by the time he's here, he might clear this level 1 much quicker than Metroid Mist is. That is very, very, very true. And Metroid Miss is still searching for those silver arrows. Doesn't know they're there, though. Potion prices are semi-vanilla today. That's right, 48.68. Definitely a Coke day. Oh, good. Dude. Hit with the high rule driver. Face. I don't think I don't think you stay here. No, Metroid Miss says I'm good. Level three can wait for a while. And Hayo hits yet another door repair. Zeroes out his rupees. Indeed. But meanwhile, Metroid Miss finding out that level nine is right next door to level three. Oh, just barely made it across the bridge. Half a heart. You know, that's got to have Metroid very, very nervous. Well, you've got uh, you've got at least that check taken care of, so slightly less worry there, I, I, I'm guessing.
takes another death. Not going to be too much of a time loss there. I mean, you're, what, four, four rooms away? Yep. In the meantime, Hyo has seen Mags. He's about five hearts short. Specifically five hearts short. In fact, the Magical Sword pickup is locked to ten hearts for this uh, tournament. Now, one thing that has not really surprised me is neither runner has gone back for the tutor yet. Being way on the other side of the world, I don't think we're going to see that for a while. Io's starting to close in on it, though. And Metroid's going to gain information about the coast item. There was a hint shop not too far from there. Hyo hits another door up here. Goodness. He's struggling to keep those rupees today. Metroid Miss finds the info about the bow. Take any dare. Will open up the possibility to pick up the recorder. 13, almost 14 minutes in, getting first heart. You know Metroid Miss has got to be feeling it. sure I'm too worried yet if I'm Metroid Mist. Hayo does pick up the white sword item, but unfortunately those armors are going to send him right back to start. Where to next? Excuse me, Mr. Octorok, sir. Um, make the human at start. Not close to it, just plain at it. Hyo now finds level three. Knows the Silvers are in here, but he's about to find out the bad news about this place. That's right. Without any upgrade to offense or defense, this is going to be a very long dig. Now the question is, how long does he dig? And more importantly, does he get the silvers out of here? Oh, I don't think he's leaving without the silvers. He knows that that is way too valuable. But at the same time, what this en enemy said. Meanwhile, Metroid Mist does find level 4, finds a lucky bomb hole, and may have found the item in 4 very quickly. Trying to set up the block clip and gets it. And it's just a heart. Warm, warm. It is the Overworld Coast heart. At least that's information for Metroid Mist. And besides, you know, you know level three has caused you problems. You're not going to turn down that heart container. Oh, absolutely not. And Hyo sees the bomb upgrade, really wants it. Unfortunately, it's just too poor. And Metroid's making great use of their available bombs, taking out these like likes. And also using an interesting piece of strategy against the uh, these rooms, the two BMOS rooms, if you stand directly in the center of between those two, they won't fire. Oh my goodness, this is a room that one, Metroid Miss didn't see, and two, probably wishes they didn't have to see. That's right, because that is a possible stair room. Oh goodness, and now Goma blocked. I was going to have to turn around unless he wants to take on those blue whiz robes, and he might. Meanwhile, Metroid ditches out, continues searching through the forest.
these dungeons are really going to give our runners a hard time today and until we can probably find some defense. So we know the secrets aren't too bad. At this point, would you start scouring for secrets and adding more exploration, hoping that you get blue ring money? Or would you dig the dungeons hoping for red? The one thing that's playing on my mind right now is Hayo immediately ditching level 5. I'm surprised he, he didn't opt to dig a single room of it. At least find that's out right. your enemy set. Enemy set, and it's always possible that your item could be just one or two rooms away. Or even better, the Triforce. That way you can return to it any time you want. True. I mean, Metroid Miss knows where the recorder is. Hayo still doesn't. Metroid Miss, what a, what a good decision here, in my opinion. Seize the Lionels, you're on one art, you're on beep strats. Turn around, try and find another way in. Unfortunately, that one's not the right way. Takes nope. another death. Lionels are... Lionels... Distinctively a fan of stairs when you're on them, anyway. That is one interesting thing about this tournament. Probably more than any other, I've seen players go for the magic shield. Now that would be very, very effective against those Lionels and Wizrobes. Although with our money and not yet having a ring, I don't think we'll see that pickup today. Oh, Hyo getting caught in Quad Beemo's room. Taking a moment, because that might have played a little bit on the... Uh on the nerves here. It is game three. Your tournament's on the line. Metroid nice. missed back in two. Can't get the Annie key and they'll be happy to they'll be happy to find it. They might not be too happy to find what they're about to. Uh and Metroid Miss immediately knows this place is segmented. This sucks. And Metroid nopes out of the Lamola. Oh, goes back in. Might want to set up the, uh... Oh, looking for the block clip! Oh, that would be oh, fantastic if they are able to oh, pull it got, off. And they they got it! Oh, nicely played. Rewarded with only a nickel, but at the very least, you know that's not where the item's sitting. going to be first on the recorder, meanwhile. I could miss with the bomb refill, but needs to be careful. Down to a single half heart. One more hit from those Beemos or that Gibdo, and it's back to start, but not anymore. Picks up another heart container and another key. With three keys, they're probably feeling pretty good right now. It might be a bit, you know, about to be, feel a lot better. That's the Andy key right there. Up and A's out of a room. Instead of spending three bombs to check if there was any item there. Oh, my goodness, that, that blue land mode room is not going to do us any favors here today, is it? No, it is not. In the meantime, Hayo is burning the dead woods, finds a previously uh, undiscovered secret, and cheap bait 56 with a pity heart of four. Oof, after this gets caught by the, by the land mows. Has anybody visited the segment of this too? I don't believe anyone has. And Metroid Miss is heading that way. Might be tempted to check it out. Hayo looking to set up a screen scroll in the 1Q5, meanwhile. Oh, what? Well, that is not a good segment game. At least it's the slower Lamolas that you can outrun. They'll still deal two hearts damage if you hit them, though. And 
Metroid Miss said, another, <sighs> another block clip. Let's go. Dedication does not pay off. No reward. However, is there a bomb hole here? There is not. That looks like a one-room segment. I of finding their six-tar container off would take any at the waterfall, but better be careful. Those Lionel's not... They ain't playing around. Now, Metroid's then, using another important strat. By hanging out in the right door, there's a certain pick so you can stay on where you can cause damage, but they cannot touch you. However, you now Hyo took a nasty deck north of the waterfall screen. That is one tech that may stay uh, undiscovered for a little while. And we're finally getting to see these rooms more to the left and discovers a bomb wall going up. Interesting. We've seen the item in here, but no Triforce is picked up by Ida Runner, but where's this one? Just oh, to the north. Rooms above. If I'm Metroid Mist here, I'm ignoring this room. You know where the Triforce is. You've got the items from here. Go out and get it. Either ignore it, or I'd actually be using bombs to try and get a force. Chooses to clear it, gets a bomb pack, and they can use it. So it's not a total loss. Guarding the Triforce is a bunch of Gibdos. Pick it up. And Metroid Great iframe missed. strats. Yep, Metroid missed. First on the board, 24 minutes and 35 seconds. Pick up in two. So our bomb prices today are 17. Not terrible, definitely a little cheaper than vanilla. Do you anticipate bomber uh, players picking up lots of bombs today? Not a lot of it, but if we turn, if we get into bomb trouble, they'll definitely want to buy some because you know when you need bombs, you need bombs. Metroid Miss about to find. Oh um, nope, not gonna pick up the hints. Not going to find out about the item in three or one. Io finds level four. Metroid Miss was in here previously. That is, uh, there's not much to do here. Metroid Miss back in two. Little interest about this play, but with both items in the Triforce collected. I mean. Yeah, he is getting close to Max territory, still several off, but I guess that's the play. Trying to go for that heart container. Metroid Mist already picked it up, I believe. Uh, not on it. Oh, actually, Metroid is not showing a private tracker, so I'm not sure. I'm at four for Hyo. Going to be hoping for something like, the, like, I don't know, maybe a wand or something. But there's the overworld heart container. We're even on hearts. We're just about even on knowledge and items. I'd say Hayo has just a slight advantage by having the recorder, but with only one Triforce, actually they don't even have any, not doing much good. Echo and Mist, I think you're right. I think they're farming groupies at this point because... Hmm. That's an interesting little... Oh goodness, that that's a spot for, uh, for a Gleok. Io picks up the compass, knows where the try is, unfortunately has to get around that Gleok to get it. Metroid Miss farming those 250 rupees. Gotta think of the blue rings to play now. I'm 
trying to remember where the closest blue ring shop is. Wasn't there one on the coast? I believe so. Somewhere close to that, anyway. Ayo takes another take any. Eight hearts, just two away from Mags. Boat runners know where it is. It's a vanilla start. We're going to see Ayo check the waterfall area. He took a, he took a debt earlier in, in the race in this very screen. Meanwhile, blue ring pickup from Metroid Mist, and that check Hayo dropped earlier, it was just a simple, a simple gambling game, and well, at least you fill out that region of the tracker. So aside from a couple uh, power braces spots, I think the last thing to really check are maybe one or two spots in the grave and then all of Death Mountain. Yeah, Death Mountain definitely a, uh, probably going to be a play here for Hyo shortly. We're getting ready to screen scroll. The Zavers are making it a little difficult though. Nothing wrong but with getting a couple of hearts uh, along the way as well. While we're waiting for some more action, let's make sure that we give a proper shout out to our two runners today, Hayo and Metroid Mist. Please give them a follow and let them know that you appreciate the amazing show that they're putting on for us this afternoon. Oh, Metroid Mist in a little trouble and gets caught by the blue whiz ropes. That's back to start. And with that kind of room, I'm not sure I come back without... I'm not sure I go back there without a sword upgrade because... I don't care if you've got blue ring or what. The, the fact is, this four is a headache and you've got the item. That's right. I personally wouldn't come back here until I had both defensive and offensive upgrades. I mean, Metroid Miss does have a defensive upgrade with that blue ring, but even then, this is this is asking a lot. Hayo finds level one. This is huge. That's right, we have two items in one. We know one of them is the white sword. Don't know what the other one is. But I think no matter what it is, unless it's the magic boomerang, Hayo is going to be very happy. There's still plenty of items left on the board, and don't forget that book. It is an atlas here tonight. I saw a very interesting feature suggestion in the Discord today, where someone suggested having a super atlas that gives you both the map and the compass to all the dungeons, but at the expense of losing all of your defensive upgrades. Interesting. Also interesting is that we found that other item in one. How about a ladder? I'll take that, especially knowing that the bow is on the coast. That puts Hayo almost in Triforce and Go mode. Knows the location of, of silver arrows that are in three. I'd say they're practically Triforce and Go as soon as they find a... They'll probably want the white sword from here, don't get me wrong. But otherwise... You're blitzing. Oh no, I was out of bombs. Not out of rupees, but Spectral Rock is some place we're going to have to come back to. And seven, level seven right next door. Right next door. That is, I, 
I believe the only dungeon we haven't found yet is six. I believe you are correct. I'm not seeing it on any of the trackers. Item in five found for Metroid Mist. It is the book. There's your atlas and there's your map of five. And uh, somebody decided uh, having a key-shaped dungeon was a plan, I guess? To me, it looks like a giraffe doing exercises. Ohio barely escapes a death. And there's an early Triforce. Metroid Miss says, I'm good. Got the item. Got the Triforce. I'm probably done with five. Don't blame them one bit. I mean, getting heart number nine would be... Number eight even would be nice. But, yeah. Definitely take the book. That puts Metroid up two Triforces to nil. But hio has got information on most of the dungeons, and level one's another Wizrobe dungeon. And there's that white sword on the floor. Hayo says, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Speaking of taking things, Metroid just claimed heart number eight from a take -any. I guess we'd seen earlier today that uh, Casino Corner would be uh, another take any finds a and that's our first look at the map at a level and uh that's a thing now it's Hio on the board Triforce number one at 34 minutes and 37 seconds two Triforce now, one Metroid miss still in the lead did Hio get the heart container out of one no but uh actually I'm not sure but at the same time I don't think Hio's gonna care that much Oh, I myself would definitely care. That would put me firmly in possession of mags, which, even though Hayo does have white sword, sometimes those extra seconds of combat advantage can make all the difference. That's true. Meanwhile, Metroid Miss, with the map in hand, will try and dig level 8 a little bit. Finds the info about level 1. This will be big for them, because the ladder is not that far from the entrance. Speaking of the ladder, Hayo employing some ladder strats in the Chevy room, trying to take down that Gibdo. Not having any bombs proving a problem for Metroid Mist, however. Now with the offensive upgrade. You may you may see Hayo start to uh, catch up, maybe pull away if Metroid Miss doesn't go back to doesn't find one soon. Knows where it is, however. So Moon, if you're playing the seed and you got the ladder out of one, you know seven's right next door. Would you dig it like Hayo, or would you quickly up an A, grab silvers, and then toot back to one? I mean, you notice. You don't know where the silvers are in three, and at the same time, that's an enemy set from heck. So I can't. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, yeah. oh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I, I meant grab the bow and then be able to use your arrows. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe with that in mind, I would do it. But the those silvers in three, they are they are going to be heck to get. Now, if I'm Metroid Mist, maybe I... That hint for level 1, I would probably investigate it as soon as I can. Oh, absolutely. So he doesn't... They don't know it, 
That white sword is there, along with the ladder. And it looks like that may be where they're headed. That's the wrong bush. There we go. And... The door repair taking the rest of your rubies. At least you... At least you took a uh, took a bomb pack from the shop and high block seven by that coma. You may see that arrow pick up sooner than rather than later. Speaking of pickups, Metroid picks up the letter. We're gonna find out that it's relatively cheap coke tonight. Quite vanilla price. However, what we haven't seen is level 6. Is Western Debt Mountain going to be where it is? Oh, I'm hoping for a power bracelet spot, but I'm just evil. Ah. You want, you want to run yourself a bit of a headache, that's all. I just want to make sure that our viewers are getting a good show today. Oh my goodness, and the snipe on the bow screen sends Hyo back to start. That is... That is oh. painful. Yeah, that's a definition of Z1R pain right there. That is eight screens we're going to have to go back through just to get that bow. Five, another door repair, but this time Metroid doesn't have any rupees, so doesn't care. And this may be our first look into West Death Mountain. Fortunately, with only one bomb that her name, there might not be much of a dig. It's a Ooh, bomb buddy. shop, but they're out of money. I am with the so bow, painful. meanwhile. Second debt, but but fortunately, Hayo says, I got the bow this time. I'm not coming back. See you later. I don't remember. What was the block in two? I don't think there was one. No, Metroid Miss does have the uh, does have the Triforce in two, as well as the item. Yeah, and Hyo wasn't too far. I wonder if they're going to consider revisiting a dungeon. And Metroid going to pick up that recorder. Do two, Jess. Bill, Metroid, going to check recorder the lake. Not going to be too happy with what they find there, I think. Well, any roads are always good to find. Especially when you only have two Triforces and you can't get around via your recorder. True enough. Eastern Lost Hills check. There's your Fort Any Road without checking it in the other one. Metroid probably having a little chuckle about that. I was opting for more explanation exploration instead of going back to seven. Still don't know where level six is. I can understand the strategy here. I 
I was hoping it would be at the connector, but it does look like it will be in either West F Mountain or a power bracelet spot. I really miss using those iframes on enemies to very good use. Going to get through that. Going to see the casino here. Oh, sort to the back side. And there's level six in West Dead Mountain. All right, at 43 minutes and five seconds, we've found all of our dungeons. At least I believe Hyo has. Metroid Miss still hasn't been up to Eastern Debt Mountain, hasn't seen 1, 6, or, or 7. And again, that offensive upgrade from Hyo going, going to be weighing more and more heavily as the race progresses. Not just an offensive upgrade, he has white sword, bow, and ladder. That is a huge advantage. Metroid may be considering going back to three to try and find out the item there. Will not be disappointed. Except by the enemy set. They struggled here earlier in the race. Hio needs to be careful down to a single heart. Metroid gets a very good clock, yeah. Big clock indeed. Hyo wielding potion and might be considering it. Hyo remains on beep straps and a Beemos room with keys. And Sniper Squad. I don't blame taking that potion at all. Uh, one one hit from those boomerangs will send you back to start, and that's about the last thing you want after digging the six out as much as Hyo has so far. I can't even tell you how many seeds I've played where I have a potion and I just don't use it. It's such a waste. Always better to use it when you need it, and you can always pick up another. Big strike there from Hyo. Might have found the item in six, but finds a transport instead. So each of our runners are one heart away from Mags. I'm sure they're going to keep digging each of these dungeons trying to find something. This lack of offense is really hurting Metroid Mist here. It says, nope, I'm, I'll come back here later. Oh, and Hyo is having trouble with this man Handla. Missed the strike, missed the spare, and actually is rewarded with both a fairy and a Triforce. I think Hyo is out of there. With the information that the silvers are in three, yeah, you've got all you've got all you've all, you have all your dungeons. You know you're not blocked by the power bracelet or the wrap. Get the three, grab your silvers, start running. That's right. Once you have the white sword, the wand really loses its value, and definitely don't need the magic boomerang. I think this is the right play. Where's Hyo off to, meanwhile? Picking up bombs. Fair enough. You've got the rupees to do it, why not? Metroid's back in three. And after a quick heart refill, I could see Hyo going back to three as well. Uh, using the old continue fairy strats.
this is where having that white sword is going to start to pay off for Ohio. It's offense oh, versus absolutely. defense in this level three. Exactly. And as much as you want that extra defense against Wizzies, you just want to kill them as quickly as possible. And Hyo also has seven bombs to work with. However, one thing Metroid has that Hyo doesn't is that bomb upgrade. Bomb upgrade and the blue ring. That is a very lethal combination. Really is. Hyo sees the key, nopes out of that, doesn't need it. I mean, you've got the end key, why would you care? You know, sometimes that muscle memory just comes back to haunt you. Meanwhile, Hyo sees the bomb upgrade is only about, uh, I think, nine rupees shy of it. Depending on That's how right. this dungeon goes, I can see them going back. Would it be surprised if they did? Especially with a fiver. Oh, big clock there for Metroid Mist. Robes are stuck on anti link at this moment. For those who may not be familiar, anti link, there's two copies of link in every screen. There's the mirror image, and so certain enemies like Wiz Robes and Dark Nuts can become fit, absolutely fixated on that copy of link and really mess up how they're going to spawn. Fighting the Goma block in three says, I'm going to have to go through this room. And this room is a headache for even the best runners. Absolutely. Especially runners with only two bombs. Yeah, maybe, I just hope maybe. that after he kills a few of those whizzies that he saves the room. Very careful here, can only can't get hit another time and get set back to start. Detroit Miss be going using the recorder. Where are they off to after that one? Back to two? They must not have gotten the heart out of two. That's the only that's the only reason I'd be back in here. This is not a bad play. Cause upgrading from wood sword to mags would be absolutely huge. Meanwhile it's Hyo's turn taking on this room and I don't know if that was a mistake. Looks like it was. Yeah, I, I don't think they meant to leave the room right after planting that bomb. In the meantime, Metroid is looks like doing some rupee farming, trying to get a bomb purchase. Oh, just barely gets there. And is this where the silvers are? Oh, game. That's just cruel. It really is. Silvers for Hyo. So, Ratboy, I noticed that you said uh, that you're seeing that they have a fun seed as well. You can totally blame me. I'm the one who rolled the seed. Hey, at least you're at least owning up to it. I mean, I'd be I'd be hiding my head if I rolled this. But, <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're 52 minutes in. Four triforces between both of our runners. 
This is going to be a long one. Meanwhile, we've got Io now deep in three, past that Goma block. What else we got in here? There's that bomb pack to take you off that zero. That amount of bombs you've got already. And... That's doable. And that was a fairy. But nothing else. That's okay. Hyo sees the Triforce. Gonna grab it. Three for Triforces for Hyo. Honestly, now with the knowledge of all of your dungeons, heck three, keep walk, keep running. An extra heart and mags would be nice, but Hyo has proven to be a very skillful skillful runner. Max is not necessary. For me, my combat is absolute crap, and I'll look for any upgrade I can get. Uh, Metroid is back in eight. Doesn't know the information of either item, but neither item here is going to be especially critical. Now, my personal rule for 8 is I never dig it unless I absolutely have to. And that I mean, actually came to bit bite me last night when I thought silvers were going to be a 9 and weren't. My goodness, that... It's always the worst feeling, isn't it? Absolutely. Item here in 8. Metroid Miss finds the wall. As a defensive upgrade with range, that is not a bad thing to pick up. No, absolutely not. Unfortunately, with Wizard blocking all the things we want tonight, that might end up being a bit of a problem. Because as we know, Wizards don't care about the wand. No, they don't. Ratboy making a comment. Can't have Game 3s be easy. That is absolutely right. This is an endurance test, and both of these runners are showing that they really want this win. And Hayo taking that Triforce number 4 out of level 2. 4 Triforces 2 is your lead. Metroid continues the dig, finds a stair. Will it pay off? I mean, at this point, there isn't much that would help Metroid miss. That red ring, however, would be enormous. That would be. Th that is the only reason I would dig a dungeon at this point if I were them. Kyo continues to dig. Level 4 next. Transport that is single there. Oh, uh, nope. Uh, nope. Oh, just another region. So Ohio already has the dun the stair heart out of four, possibly looking for floor heart, and is only four rooms away from the Triforce. I mean, if this if this wasn't part number ten for Mags. Hi, I guarantee you, Hi Hiya wouldn't care about this at all. You're absolutely right. Unfortunate deaths, and back to the beginning. Hiya decides. Oh, for, I'm done. I'm done in this for now. I'll, I'll be back later. Do you think we're going to see a potion pickup? 
I only have money for a blue potion at this point, though. Might still be enough. Oh, there's a Triforce and eight. Metroid Miss saying no, thank you. I don't know where my silvers are. My silvers are yet. They might be in here. Fortunately, the hint shop we saw earlier had the answer to that. That's right. It's definitely not going to be this room, but it does well, have that tenth ten. heart. That's that's big, and that might that might get Metroid missed right out of here. Try for some pickup. We're gonna pick up out of eight. That was located up along the coast in the northeast uh, casino corner. I can see an up and A and a mag grab. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, and it looks like Metroid Miss is doing exactly that. I might have found book in five, and there it is. It's still worth it to get the book once you're an hour in. That will give you the map to nine, and any remaining dungeon. Absolutely. Metroid Miss at 58 minutes does grab mags and that double sword upgrade. I guarantee you three ain't going to be lasting long now. Oh no, at this point with Blue Ring, they can face tank absolutely every enemy, just plow their way through. I can see a lot of dungeon cleanup coming very fast from it. Just be just be careful. Those uh, those whiz robes, they've been unfriendly all day. It looks like Metroid Miss is instead heading for uh, for Death Mountain. Doesn't know about the location of the other three dungeons. Meanwhile, Hyo's starting to uh, really pu push into another gear. Five Triforces down now with the pickup of five. Now, if Metroid goes up from here, this will be huge because it will discover one that has the ladder and seven. Which, at this point, might have red rain. Hyo into eight. Metroid Miss saying, I want to go to East Dead Mountain, and they'll find out that, that was quite a good decision. That's right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Triforce and 8 was all the way at the top on the right. It, so, Hyo's got a long dig. It was a deep dig, you're right. Ink Master Gaming 8 looks like a mess. That's right, I can't think of any ink blot that that really fits, except maybe Shrek eating a cookie. I'm not even sure that. That sounds like a mess right there, if I'm being completely honest. Metroid is in one, making very quick work out of those moblins. And Moldorm is no match for Mighty Warrior. However, try for the bomb force. Metroid Miss does find the ladder. A whiz robe with a blur filter. I like that one, chat. Looks like a Metroid is trying to find the second item out of one. Hope that doesn't come back to bite them. It is just the white sword, but being th three rooms away from Triforce, that would be my destination. Well, we'll see. Metroid Miss still doesn't know where the Silvers are. That is true. He could be thinking Silvers are here in one. Could be, yes. Thankfully, one isn't that large, so maybe, maybe that rescues him a little bit. Unfortunately, Hyo is on the wrong side of eight, but in the general northern area, which will help.
there's a bomb pack you will not need. Beep stress needs to be careful here. Can't take another hit from these whiz robes. Maybe I'm just filled with bad luck, but whenever I'm on beep straps, that seems to be the time that the gels get me. Triforce I'll pick up Trif Triforce and eight. Doesn't go one room past, it says, I've got everything I need. We're good. Let's keep going. Looks like it's gonna whistle back to one. Seven would be next, with only seven and four to go. This makes complete sense. Oh, and for four first. I mean, there's the, there's the white sword before finding the Triforce from Metroid Miss. This actually might pay, pay out. That's right, 4 was not that large of a dungeon, and with that extra heart container that's in there, tipping to Mag's territory, Kyle might grab that on their way back to seven. However, Metroid Miss now bring the uh, Triforce deficit to six to four. If they go one room west, they'll find their last dungeon. Uttered at six, of course. Of course. This seven looks unkind at best. Chat, name that ink block. Once again, just want to give a huge shout out to both of our runners today. They're putting on a fantastic show. Please check out their channels for Hyo and Metroid Mist. Also, my co commentator, Moon Risen Phoenix, a legend in the community. Thank you for giving up your time and your lunch break today. Legend? That's awfully kind of you. There's a Triforce for, from four for Hyo, seven to four. Hyo is going to be getting very close to that ticket to nine. Chat has probably one of the more interesting uh, ideas for a layout of this level seven. Z? Z. Go ahead. Yeah, the Z from Dragon Ball Z logo, but mirrored. I was thinking it was maybe more like the Zelda Z, but mirrored. But yeah, Dragon Ball definitely see that. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Io in level 7, looking to get that last Triforce and get that ticket to 9. They, at this point, they don't care about Mags or the Red Rain. They must be thinking at an hour six, Metroid Mist might have me on the ropes. I need to find that Triforce and get to nine. Now. Oh, absolutely. Once you hit that hour mark, all type of, of paranoia sets in. Maybe this Goma is the, the answer here. It is not... I does find a push block says I'm not even looking at this. Dan can't fault them. Then there's a possibility of this being the transport that leads one round room south.
And it... Which wait, it is. Actually, didn't the... Uh... Yep. It is the old <laughs> one rumor. Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. Thanks, old man. I mean, Metroid Miss doesn't know where 6 is. That at is least, true. At least now, they know that 6 isn't power bracelet block, so it's somewhere in West Dead Mountain. Sure, if the, if the sword's taken away, use the wand. Makes sense. Gets you through that room. And as evidenced by both of these runners, this seven is turning out to be painful. Lots of rooms with shutter doors, forcing you into combat with Gibdos and powerful enemies. I do I would not wish this on anyone. Honestly? I would just, I wouldn't say this is painful. I'd say this is more time consuming than anything. Time is not something either runner wants to give up right now. So, Moon, where do you think this Triforce will be? I think it's going to be third down in the dash column. Yeah, actually, that's, furthest it can be. <laughs> that's actually where I was about to say it was going to be. Okay, we so have a compass. And Kyo is only two rooms away. Doesn't know about it, though. Will he Will he be thorough and check that room? Well, with no bomb draw, and no bombs available, oh, never mind. They may still continue north. Now they head west. They bombed south here. Does it bomb south though? Metroid Miss, meanwhile, out of out of seven. I am going to skip that room. There's the item I, seven, however. I think Metroid's making a bow play. Sounds like, considering they don't have the. Uh, there's a raft in seven. They don't have the arrows to take down the Goma blocks that we've seen here, so that makes complete sense. And Hayo does pick up heart container number 10, guaranteeing them mags. Now you know where it is. Level 9's a candle row. Honestly, at this point, you up and A, you pick it up on... You pick mags up on the way. I think you're right, Moon. There's the bow for Metroid Mist. Wrap away in chat saying Hyo's going to last location to try. For their sake, I sure hope not, but it looks like that might be the case. That's going to be the case. You're They're up in the top, the northeast corner now, and they're going to check this room, the room that is south, and the room that are north before going to the Triforce room. At least, if they've got the bombs to do it. And with one bomb, that's not looking very good. And you know that they and need one bomb left to get... rescued again! Yeah. You know you need one bomb to get into that Triforce oh. room. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna be he's resource gonna... management. Oh, he's going to go and take out this uh, spike. He's going to decide if Spike, you made bad decisions again. 
I think we really need to get Spikey into a 12-step program. How to stop making mistakes? Lesson one, get out of dungeons if you but you can't, so end of end of the program. Maybe I'm being too uh, too harsh. When it comes to Spikey, I don't think it's possible to be too harsh. Fair enough, fair enough. I was going down. Will they bomb? Nope. I think they might have already tried to. But I might be wrong there as well. Well, that's the Triforce room if they bomb down from here. Okay, obviously Hayo did not try to do that. This is the one... This looks like a last location, but there it is. Higher with the ticket to nine, just as we reach one hour, 14 minutes. You know that both of these runners have got to be tired. It's a game three. Pressure's already on. Oh, I can see Hayo thinking that they're way behind at this point. You still have to pick up Max. You're one room away. Get it. Oh, absolutely. Go to nine. Absolutely. Now, Metroid only has four Triforces at this point, hour 14. They're probably really feeling the pressure. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. However, you know what we call nine, Brock. The Great Equalizer. That's correct. Nine can very do much do nine things, especially a Shapes Nine. However, exactly. Hi however, Hio does have the Atlas, so... That's one. Th that's one less thing to worry about. That's right. You never know where you, whether you're gonna have Insta Ganon or whether Zelda is gonna be every single room away. Meanwhile, you know, Hayo using the recorder, Metroid Miss finds a Triforce in four, five Triforces on the board, but Hayo, one hour, fifteen minutes, and twenty-seven seconds. I'll say, into nine. Very pink nine at that. Indeed. And a very small nine. That means we're going to have a lot of one-off staircases. So, Moon, what are we looking for in this nine? Looking for the good old-fashioned roar in a door and not that bait block. The roar is the roar of Ganon, and he's a bad neighbor. He, his sports team probably lost last night, and he's upset about it, so... You'll hear him if he's one room away from your current position, either north, east, south, or west. Meanwhile, the door is a single shutter room that will be, uh... that will stay locked if uh, Ganon is not knocked out and all enemies are cleared. However, if Gen is down, that room is going to swing wide open because you've got bacon, Zelda wants breakfast. However, there is one exception to this. If Zelda is right next to Ganon's room, it doesn't matter how many uh, shutters there are in Ganon's room, she may be hiding there. Well, she's definitely not hiding in the room to the south here. I'm sure Hayo was a little hopeful until that Lamola was killed. Nothing can feel better than finding the princess nice and early and developing that path so as soon as you have bacon, you know exactly where to go. Is this it? However, it is! Hayo has Hello. located the kidnapped. Hello, Zelda. So that was the However, second room down in the second E column. Pretty easy path. However, Io now has a problem and will need bombs at this point. I 
there they, there's the bot pack from the get go. The game giveth. I mean, the game has shown teeth. I mean, that silver spot. That was brutal. All we need now on IO's side is the Roar of Ganyan. Fortunately, we seem to have uh, technical difficulties on audio on their end, so fortunately, we do not have audio on that side. I think the only thing that this seed still needs is a magic staircase getting you into Ganon. I don't believe we've heard a roar yet. So we're most likely looking at that northeast part of the map. Silver is for Metroid. Finding out that level three hit him in the worst place possible. Time is ticking. Hyle's already in nine, has found the kidnap. Probably is looking for just a bomb pack at this point. I won't get it. Triforce and three for Metroid Mist. Hyle out of bombs. This nine. Nine causing problems. So I believe that we heard a roar in that room that we were just in, but was not un was not able to bomb the wall. I was on the opposite side of nine now. Is this the way in? That we missed back in seven. Still is yet to find six, however. And I believe Ganon's just to the left. One hour. Here's Ganon. Indeed, one hour, 20 minutes, and 47 seconds. We have our first Ganon signing of the day on Hiyo 24's side, looking to take the series and head to the quarterfinals. Hiyo takes a potion. Don't blame it all on Green Tunic. Just takes a couple py Hyrule drivers to absolutely decimate you. Indeed, Ganon just looking for hugs. Hiyo, meanwhile, looking for four shots. There's one hog. There's a second. I always got to be careful. Can't even take a fireball at this point. And takes a Ooh. hog instead. I was sent back to start. And we're probably going to see another potion pickup. However, the problem remains. Hyo doesn't have enough for red potion. Nope, so I'm either they're going to have to farm or settle for Pepsi. And let's face it, no one wants to settle for Pepsi. Not in the case of Zelda 1 randomizing anyone, but Hayo does it anyway. Probably stop off at the Fairy Fountain on the way. Might as well go into 9 with full hearts. And Metroid picks up the Triforce out of seven, making them a lot closer and almost on Hyo's heels. Indeed, but they need to find six. They have the bombs to do it, though. A correct path through nine, and this may be a very... Goodness, this is a game three on top of it. This, oh, yes. quarter oh. this quarterfinal spot is not locked up by any means. Now, Ohio does have the path to the kidnapped. They have the path to Ganon. 
all it takes is some really good luck and just not getting driven by Ganon too many times. Indeed, Metroid missed about to find level, level 6, meanwhile. You're two, room, you're two rooms away. I don't remember. How deep into six was this try? I don't believe it was that deep. It seemed like neither runner... Oh, I mean that Hyo did not have to go very far. Maybe ten rooms at most? But Hyo looking for round two against Ganon. Just a couple of rooms away, but taking damage from those blue gorillas. Green tunic, always the gamble. Here we go, take two. And this time, Hayo gets a stun lock. Down goes Ganon, and time may be running out for Metroid Mist. I believe Hayo is about nine or ten rooms away from the kidnapped. And knows the path. Second row in the second E is our destination. Time Time is very much ticking on Metroid Miss, and they might run out of time right here. Triforce and six for Metroid Miss. That is a ticket to nine, just short of one hour, 25 minutes. There's the potion to take for high -O. That's going to secure them health-wise for the rest of this trip. Last thing you want to take is a debt on the way to Zelda. There is the door! And get your GGs out, everybody, for your race winner and series winner. Advancing to the quarterfinals, that is high 24 when an official race time, not GG time of 1 hour, 25 minutes, and 23 seconds. GG's to both of our runners today. They've put on an amazing show. This was a brutal seed. It really wasn't. Unfortunately, Metroid Miss will throw the white flag. Get your GG's out for Metroid Miss. Heck of an effort. But joining us in the boot, race winner and series winner, Hio24. Congratulations and GG's. You're on the quarterfinals. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, before uh, GG to MSD, um, if it wasn't for my routing today, he probably would have won uh, because my combat was bad, but my routing was great. <laughs> so, Hi, what did you think of level three? Uh, um... Through three, I'll come back later. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm in go mode once I do three. Oh, look, three has everything I don't want to fight. I'll go find something else first. And, uh, like I said, my route, I mean, I knew exactly where Bo and Silvers were right out of the gate. And, uh, then got into one and found that ladder. And I was like, hey, I'm in go mode. I just have to get those silvers out. But like I said, my, my combat today was just, it was bad. Well, I believe combat was difficult all around with this enemy set. Well, and, and honestly, in our three games, all three of them were very low money. So... I never once had a chance. This is the only seat I had a chance to buy hints. And in none of the three, I could buy the blue ring. <laughs> oh, but buying those hints paid off tremendously. You knew exactly what was going to be in one. You knew exactly where the silvers were. And Metroid did not have that information early. So I think that's what made a huge difference for you. 
yeah, that's that's the big key with the routing there. Um, finding that information and and if you saw like I pretty pretty much saw the entire overworld before I even found my first Triforce um, because I was like I've got to get this uh, this Armos item and then it was the boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping for a red ring under Armos. <laughs> yeah, out of all the Armos items, the banana is probably the most disappointing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because especially in this flag set, a heart is really good. Because <laughs> one heart gets you the uh, recorder and ten gets you magical, so even that's much better than uh, Boomerang. <laughs> But, uh, it, it, you know, this was a great uh, set of matches between me and MST. I don't know where he was at the end of this one, but all three of them were very close matches. Or at least the first two were very close. And uh, you got to give big GGs to MST. I, I mean, he, he put on a good show for sure. Oh, absolutely. He actually just claimed his last Triforce right as you were rescuing the kidnapped. Oh, so once again, I mean, if he goes in there and finds the right... Well, I mean, I, I went in there and found the right path, so... I, I took one stair, and that got me Ganon, and no stairs for Zelda. So, yeah. Today, I actually did <laughs> a good nine. <laughs> so, moving on now to the quarterfinals. So you're facing the Pirate Sheep or Glitch Rate in the next round. Thoughts on those matches? Uh, I, I don't know much about Glitch Rate. I have watched all of uh sheep's matches in this tourney and uh and his matches previously too and i know he is there's a reason he's the number one seat um so whoever i get it, it uh, it's going to be a tough win because like i said i don't know much about glitch rate but if they can beat sheep then they're pretty good <laughs> That's true. Uh, anything else you'd like to say for the for this matchup? I mean, uh, nothing for the matchup. Just want to give a big thank you to Moon Risen and to Proc and GW GDW, and uh, thank all the people for what coming out at one o'clock and watching. Absolutely huge thanks again to GDW for doing the tracking. Trackers are the MVPs, and without them, as I always say, we're lost at sea. With that, Hayo uh, and Metroid Miss, thank you, uh, thank you both for a uh, fantastic show. Hayo, looking forward to uh, seeing you in the quarterfinals and to uh, Metroid Miss. Well, hoping to see you again soon. Great one in the tournament. Unfortunately, it comes to an end today. So, on behalf with, of the, oh, go ahead, Proc. On behalf of the Xander One Horizon Monitor randomizer community i just want to thank speed gaming for letting us restream on their networks they've been fantastic partners and without them we would not be able to have watched this great match today that is very true and thank you uh proc for uh, for uh, volunteering today for uh, for commentary great working with you and hoping to do so again soon likewise so for those of you looking hoping to see more zelda one randomizer action tonight you're in luck we've got one more match Scheduled for 10 p.m. Eastern, Ultra Lavos versus Vitor. One of our one of our runners here today, Io24, will be on commentary for that one. So uh, oh, stay I tuned. To the, stay tuned to the schedule for uh, for the restream channel on that one. But yes, Io, Proc, uh, anything anything else from uh, either of you as we wind down here today? No, just good GGS. Have a good uh, Thursday. Absolutely. So on behalf of our runners, Hio24 and Metroid Miss, on behalf of our tracker, GDW, and on behalf of my co-commentator, Product Noviach, this has been Mooners and Phoenix. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to the Speed Gaming Network. And on behalf of all of us here at the Speed Gaming Network and all of us here at the Zelda 1 Randomizer community, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon for some more Zelda 1 Randomizer Tournament action. Good night, everybody.